all right i still got to square up but we're gonna see how this works i don't know how stable this is <laughs> it might all fall on the in the pad uh the first time i dump but uh i'm thinking i'm gonna dump sideways because of uh you know the i don't have the room here i wanted to get the generator it took a long time because i wanted to get the generator off that bracket i didn't want to keep on rubbing paint uh and it, based on how it raised the height difference would be uh changing so i didn't want it to get trapped in there and like bend something as i raise it up so i think it's good if it's on wood it'll slide back and forth there i'll watch it as i go i've tested it a couple times and i think it'll work fine um but this has such a short cord you know i'm going to be going forward and backwards with the tractor i just i just felt it was best to put the generator on on the actual front loader so we're going to see how we're going to see how this works i'm gonna i'm gonna square it up uh and then i'll get to work Man alive. 
well here's the damage i'm not sure when when the battery on the gopro died but i was i don't know my original math was for a four oh my goodness i keep got concrete that i'm mixing up in my pocket <laughs> it uh it fell in there from the uh from the bags you know as i'm pouring them into the mixer and then of course my sweat makes a little bit of concrete <laughs> and then i'm walking around so it kind of mixes it up yeah so this was not lift this okay first lesson learned 80 pound bags um no thanks uh I'm going to 60 pound bags from now on um or maybe even 40 pound bags i don't know uh it's just those are really heavy and lifting them into the mixer it's 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 really hard to get it up there and all empty i mean you saw i kind of got a lot on the ground so that was really hard 80 pound bags um because i got to lift them off the pallet onto here cut it and then from there to there i think 60 pound bags would be much more manageable so that's uh, oh, the first lesson the second lesson is this was only supposed to be a four inch slab and <laughs> uh, i mean you can see the the two by four right uh i am not really sure what's going on there um but anyway the uh the problem is i dug footings so it's you know a little bit deeper like a trench around the side but that was only supposed to be like i don't know a couple more inches and it wasn't supposed to be very wide but the tractor um made them wider and i just kind of i just kind of went with it without really thinking about it and i'm like yeah sure it'll be fine um well i mean you see that mount that's a that's uh so three and a half three and a half so that's seven so that's probably at least 11 11 12 almost a foot a foot probably over a foot uh a foot oh my goodness that's so much concrete uh and even even where there's not the trench i mean just because this thing is so uneven i have so much space to fill up and i really should have um i really should have done a job a better job before i put this uh um vapor barrier down i should have done a better job leveling the grade instead of making it just concrete and i i don't know i just thought that it would be <laughs> i thought it'd be a lot easier to mix the concrete and i thought this part would go a lot faster but 80 pound bags are heavy and so i kind of started throwing rocks in there and that's really not ideal um but I did have that vibrator. I don't know if you saw that in the uh, in the time lapse or not before the battery cut out. But I have the vibrator going where I can really uh, vibrate that concrete down and around all of the rocks. So I'm I'm not really worried about the structural stability um, with all the big rocks that I'm throwing in here because I have that vibrator. It'll 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 man i wish i could have got that on time lapse it's pretty cool the way that it works it just brings all the water to the surface and it and it floats the concrete down and around and it just like it just settles it down almost perfectly it's amazing um so that that was really really nice and so what i'm gonna do the reason why i put up that two by four is because i'm like i'm i'm gonna run that concrete um so the plan is basically get rocks, fill it up to just kind of below the two by four. Um, and we're going to go from there. And then I'm going to try to pour the slab from there. Uh, and, you know, I might leave a little bit of room, you know, concrete will float down and, you know, it'll, it'll settle down underneath those rocks. 
Um, cause I do want a little bit of a footing around the edges. Um, so, but, but I just, I, I had way too big of one. So that's kind of the plan for, and this is just a stinking shed. I'm spending so much money on bags of concrete. I'm probably going to have to go buy more concrete now. Cause I only have, I have that. And then one more pallet over there. Um, and I don't know if that's enough to, I'm, I'm going to have to do some math. Um, I might just go buy a pallet because I still have to pour the uh, the post. Uh, I have to dig the holes and pour for the post for the solar array. Uh, I mean that's just eight holes, but still, um, that's that's some concrete. So I don't want to run out. And if I have extra, I will be able to do things like pour a little you know, a nice little sidewalk or something to the camper. Or what I'd really like to do is do a shallow, um, you know, seriously only like <laughs> four inches, not, not this thick, uh, but something so I can park my tractor on. It is really nice to be able to get all my implements, uh, like the box blade, for example, it's really nice to know what's level. So that way I, I, I know that I'm getting a level grade when I go to do work on that. Uh, and also it's just nicer to work on concrete instead of working on, you know, sitting your butt down on dirt all day long. So, um, if I have leftover concrete, I'll be able to do that. And so that'll be nice. But I think I'm kind of done for the day. Like I am beat lifts in 80 pound bags. It was just, it was pretty much a nightmare. Like that was... That's going to take a little while to recover from. Uh, I should pull that concrete away from there because I want... Uh, that's probably not... Yeah. I'm going to pull the concrete away from there and I'll just push it somewhere where it's deeper. Oh, man. Alive. I did not anticipate this. I thought I was going to get it all done in one day. Well, that's what happens. Um, okay, well. I'm going to go work on getting some rocks the rest of the day. Probably using the tractor as much as possible. Because I, I can't lift anything. I am so dead. My arms are cramping. Like, I don't have any muscle left. So... Yeah, probably tell that I'm pretty tired. I don't know how, I, I did find out, I I tried using the trowel, like I had the float, uh, you know, that big old bull float going, and I tried to level out and make that line smoother between the float, and I don't know how guys with trowels do it, like I made it worse, and so I'm just leaving that for now, like that's just, that's just going to have to be what it is. Um, there's just going to be a little lip there from the float because that's the best I can do. Uh, but it's just for a shed. It doesn't really matter. You know, honestly, honestly, it probably would have been easier, a heck of a lot easier just to do um, kind of like a pier and beam foundation on a shed. That would have been a lot easier. But I kind of wanted a slab. So, this is what I got myself into. Um, now I need to go get some more rocks. And in order to get rocks, I'm going to want my bucket. Oh, so somehow I'm going to have to muscle off that generator. The thing is not light. I don't know if I have the... <laughs> I don't know if I have it in me to do that. I might not take that apart because I'm going to have to use this all tomorrow. Or maybe give my arms a break and maybe I'll dig some holes or something. Well, that's not giving my arms a break either. I don't know. We'll figure out. How, we'll see how I'm feeling tomorrow and we'll go from there. All right. See you guys.